So radical prostatectomy can be performed using either an open, laparoscopic, or robotic technique. Uh, about 85% of the radical prostatectomies in America this year should be performed robotically by the best available estimates. There is really no long-term outcome difference between any of the three approaches. The recovery seems to be faster using a laparoscopic or robotic approach than the open approach, both the recovery of activities of daily living and recovery of urinary control. There's also less blood loss with the minimally invasive approaches, but there is not any real difference in oncologic outcomes or side effects. Now, what are the most common problems after operation? Well, the biggest one is that your cancer is not cured. In America, about 70% of cancers will be cured in patients who undergo operative treatment. The major side effect is loss of urinary control because it so severely impacts quality of life. A experienced surgeon should have a social continence rate of about 99 percent. The national average is about 75 percent, and, and if your surgeon has results like that, you should find a better surgeon. The next uh, most serious complication is loss of erectile function. When the cancer is detected early and nerve sparing is appropriate, most men should expect to recover their erectile function with or without the use of oral agents. Again, if your surgeon does not have good results for potency preservation, you should consider finding another person who does.